Hello everyone, welcome to SparkFun Electronics. We've got a couple new products for this new Product Friday video and a really cool demo. So let's start by talking about this little guy. This module is magic. That's right, I said it's magic. This is a laser rangefinder. The year is 2015 and we have laser rangefinders for under 100 bucks. This thing shoots laser beams out its eyeballs and can tell you how far away something is. So instead of talking about the specs, let's have Nick show you how this thing works. Let's talk about this new LiDAR light module. The LiDAR light is a LiDAR module that's easy to interface with and gives you very accurate distance up to 40 meters from the module. LiDAR is a technology much like radar, except instead of using radio waves, it uses lasers to find the distance. One of the advantages of LiDAR over something like ultrasonic or short-range infrared is that it has a very long range of detection. Like I said, it's up to 40 meters. So this is good for indoor and outdoor applications where you have a long distance between you and the object that you want to detect. Another advantage of LiDAR is that you can read from it very quickly. So you can actually take a whole lot of readings at once, which means that you could do something like put this module on a turntable and spin it to create a map, sort of like the old radar screens that you see in submarine movies. Um, and you could spin that very quickly and still come up with a very high resolution uh, image of your surroundings. The nice thing about the wavelength of light that it uses is that it works outside in the sunlight really well. So you don't have to worry about taking it from an indoor application to an outdoor application and having to recalibrate and figure out how much the infrared from the sun is screwing with your measurements uh, because it has filters and optics and uh, the technology itself is inherently fairly resistant to the sun. I'm gonna put this module through its paces today by trying to use it to navigate inside this room. I've built a pretty simple demo here where I've taken the module and put it on the front of this pair of glasses, which I can't see through. I've put electrical tape on the front of them. And on the side, I have a Pro Micro, which is taking readings from the module and then relaying that information to me in the form of a tone. And that tone gets higher pitched the closer that an object is to the module. Also, if I get really close to an object, they'll alert me of that by vibrating using this lily pad vibe motor that I've taped to the back of the glasses. This could be adapted to a real assistive technology for the visually impaired to be able to navigate their surroundings, and there are some things on the market that already do this. Uh, I don't have much experience navigating without sight, so it may not go as well for me. Activating LiDAR. Commence disorientation. Test concluded. Hypothesis confirmed. Oh, classic Nick. Next up, we've got a new 3D printer. This comes from Aleph Objects. This is the Lulzbot Mini. This is an update and a smaller version to the Taz 4. Has a lot of um, new interesting features and a smaller build volume. It is about that big. It has a six by six inch by six inch build volume, so it's a lot smaller than the TAS-4. However, it has a lot of cool features that the TAS-4 and a lot of other printers on the market don't have. Um, for instance, you see it has this nice aluminum frame to it, and it's just kind of a lot more compact. It's easier to fit on a desk and whatnot. It has this little um, arm that comes up for your spool holder and retracts when not in use. 
and also has this really cool like bed leveling technique. It has these um, little metal plates at the side and it can actually level the bed because no bed on a 3D printer is perfectly level. So really what you want to do is you want to read the four corners and see how it's tilted and then the software can actually compensate for that so you get a nice print out of it. Uh, the other interesting thing about this is it has this little strip in the back, um, which is actually for cleaning the tip. The tips get really gunky when you print a lot, and in the startup package you can actually see that there's a lot of um, these little pads for cleaning that. It comes with all these tools that you might need. It has some tweezers, clam knife. You might be asking why you need a clam knife. Clam knife is great for prying up your um, objects from the base of the printer. We've got a cable, of course, We've got an Allen key, another cable, um, just a couple little picks and whatnot to scrape all the um, dried plastic off. We have these little strips for the tip cleaning. And then it comes with this really cool little thumb drive that has the software and whatnot on it. And then it has this little octopus. Now, the cool thing about the octopus is this was actually made on this exact printer so that you know this is the quality that this printer prints at. Um, it's something that they have always done. It's kind of a cool thing that you know that this unit was QC'd, you're not going to have issues with it, and you know that it was actually tested by people for the simple reason that they're open source and they're built here in Colorado. We also like the fact that each unit is hand assembled and hand tested, so it's not just this thing that's you know on some assembly line and you might get it and you find out that it's completely miscalibrated you know exactly what the quality of this printer is going to be when it shows up. So if you want a printer that you don't have to mess with, you don't have to you know, try and calibrate for six months, you can just go on their website, download the profiles for the filament, hook it up to this printer, and you're good to go. Check out the Mini. There's lots of options out there, but we like this because it's just kind of like a plug-and-play solution. So these are the products that we have for this week. As always, check out the website for all sorts of more new cool stuff. And if you're looking to get into 3D printing, check out the Mini. And of course, Laser Range Finders 2015. Awesome stuff. See you guys next week with even more new products.